Previously on the GM Golf Sunday Matches, Micah and I went out to Falcon Lakes Golf Club local here in Kansas City. It was extremely windy that day. We had a fun nine holes, but at the end of the day, I ended up losing two and one. Heading into match number 18, that now puts our point system at 12 to five. I saw a comment on our last match of somebody saying that we should go play Sycamore Ridge. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. I actually won my very first two day golf tournament out here by shooting four under par. Anyways, hopefully we can get dialed in in today's match, and hopefully you guys do enjoy. Let's jump right into the action. Oh, hi. Welcome back to another GM Golf video. Micah is currently getting his club for this first hole. We're back with another Sunday match. If you guys are new here, we do these every single Sunday, every week. Every single Sunday of every week of every month. Exactly. And Micah has currently won 12 matches. I've won five matches. That makes the point system at 12 points to five points. And today we are out here at Sycamore Ridge Golf Course locally placed here in Olathe, Kansas, pretty close to our house. Nice little track. I've played it a few times before and I've had a lot of fun out here. I actually won a junior tournament a while ago out here and I shot four under through two days. So that was some of the best golf I've ever played. I think I was about as tall as you back then. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna start out here on the front nine. We're gonna have a fun little match. We're gonna see what we can do. The front nine is really tight. As you can see, this is what hole one looks like. I mean, we're just gonna dive right in. Mike with two iron here. Let's dial it in. So, Let's go. Do I need to aim at that big elm tree? Yeah. little bleeder right but it opens up and typically that's where I would hit it on my you know that's fine maybe like 20 yards right so we're just gonna see it's kind of a blind tee shot I'm loving the looks of this golf course so it's gonna be a fun day this is perfect see it come dead Dude, center of the screen I'm pretty sure I could have hit three wood driver he's gonna have a long ways to go this is a 450 yard hole no you're kidding no I'm not Dude, oh my, so uh, I want you guys to know my thought process. In the tournament, they had the tee box up there. I wasn't even thinking about that, bro. All right, so we're off to a really hot start, as you can tell. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have hit three wood. We're not going to talk about it. I have 240 yards to pin. Back to it. Garrett hitting two iron. He got 240. <laughs> I just carried that two iron 260. I carried that downhill. You just have to laugh. I think I'm in the creek. Micah literally is a foot from going out. This is what he's looking at. He's actually still got a swing, so he's fine. I got 190 yards. I'm trying to decide if I can get a seven iron over that tree. Today's gonna be a good day. That's gonna be a little right of the green, but I think he's gonna be in play and he should be fine. He got up and over that tree on the right side, so he's gonna have a chip to get up now for a par. There's where I am right there. I did get, I got lucky. I pretty much short-sighted myself about as much as you can. Garrett's ball was just in the woods. He's taking an unplayable and hitting four from right there. I'm hitting three from right there. So these are the exact shots you wanna be hitting on your first hole of a match. That's actually a really good shot. Guys, it's about as good as I can do. I got that for bogey, and I definitely am gonna need that. Mike could get up and down for par. And same thing, that rolled out. At least I have a chance if I make that to tie the hole. Probably got a solid 15, 18 feet. He needs to make this. I believe, you guys. Wow, that's such a good putt. <laughs> Thank you. What can I say? I hit a good putt. Not a good start. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Micah four is par. Just needs a two putt to win the hole. I'm going to make him putt that. All right, that was a good putt there. Bogey won the first hole. That is just so sad. On to hole two. See what we can do, guys. All right, we are on to hole number two out here, which is a super cool dog leg left par five. Now, this is what it looks like once again. Super tight course. I got three wood. Mike has got two iron. Let's get it. Just trying to play his natural draw. That was hit so hard. It might because he hit it so hard, but. Oh my. That's a 270 carry. Is it in the bunker? Yeah. Just about 15, 20 yards to the left, and that was perfect, but I just didn't want to flirt with that tree. Garrett with three wood. Just trying to take it a little left of mine. That's the ideal position. 
This is an absolute rope. I hit it so bad that it's good. It's gonna stay short. Look at it right there. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. If Bradley wants to put it in slow-mo, you probably can't tell on camera, but I hit it like really far on the heel and that put a lot of spin on it and it allowed it to fade a little bit so it didn't get to the bunker which i'm happy about all right i'm hitting eight iron down there guys i know we don't really typically lay up on this channel but i have 250 yards to clear the creek and in the front of the green there's not much room behind the green and this is what it looks like so i got eight iron so garrett's is hitting eight iron we don't know how far it is with that creek that's a nice little tight draw gonna see it that bounced really hard forward Micah's eyes need a little checked I'm not gonna be in the creek I'm gonna have a nice wedge into the green all right Mike with nine iron here in the right bunker just trying to lay up in the fairway Woo! that's clean I might need to sit it I don't know no, see gonna... I'm afraid it's too long it's gonna be fine I think I don't actually know all right guys 99 yards to the middle of the green to the pit and right here this is where I'm at Mike is back there. I'm already ready, so I'm just gonna end up hitting. I got 60 degree in hand. Pretty comfortable shot here, I like it. That's really good. A little bit long. Really long. The last couple 60 degrees I've hit, they've been flying. They've been flying. What's up, dude? How's it going? We got Mike's ball here in the left rough, as you can tell. We got someone uh, blowing a bunch of grass. Mike with the 60 degree here, trying to dial it up in there. Get a quote. Might need to go. Oh, got a good bounce off that front fringe. A little short. Yeah, Mike just hit it right over his cart. Not really sure what that was, but I kind of like it. We both have birdie looks here. I need to make that really bad to get it back to all square. All right, guys, walking up to the green. Mine actually is about 20 feet short, but I really like where I'm hitting this putt from. Garrett was a lot longer than I thought he was. He's probably about 30 feet, and he is coming back up the hill. Both pretty straight putts, not a lot of movement in them. Oh, you hate to leave putt short like that. I'm going to give him that, nonetheless, he's just going to tap that in. Guys, I really needed that one, but it's okay. Mike is up the hill now for birdie. Hopefully, he can just two putt. I'll stay one down going into hole three. That will be good there for his par. That's unfortunate, not ideal, but on to hole three, still one down. Not the best start for either of us. All right, hole three, guys. Super tight hole. Mike has got his four iron. I got four iron as well, but I also got driver because <laughs> I don't know. It's 300 yards to the green. Guys, you know we don't really lay up that often on this channel, so we'll see what Micah does. If Micah shanks this in the woods, <laughs> I might go for it because why not? Why would you do that? That <laughs> makes no sense. Exactly. All right, you love to see it. That's pretty good there. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, I'm gonna try and dial my four iron in. That's a great idea, Garrett. If we were playing the scramble, then definitely you would go for it. Let us know if you guys want to see us try to break 59 or break 60 at Sycamore Ridge. It'd be a great course to do it at. This is really good. Following mine, he actually might be a little farther than mine because I didn't hit it very well. Okay, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. We both have a good, really good wedges into this green, actually, probably inside of 100. Should be able to go after this one. All right, guys, Garrett has 106 yards to the pin. Pins in the front, really accessible. I got 60 degree. I'm going to try and hit the same shot I did on last hole. Just don't let it get away from me and hit 150 yards. Just going right at it. Okay, that's not long. It's not long. That one felt good, guys. I don't know what it is, but today I've been hitting my 60 degree really far. Michael with 86 yards here, just trying to dial it up in there. Pretty solid shot there. Tiny bit short. All right, walking up to the green here. This is what I'm looking at up the hill, about six, seven feet. This is Micah on the front side of the green. I'd say 15 feet. Just slides by. I'm going to give him that. That's unfortunate. I hit a really good putt there. It just was the wrong line. I like to say I made that putt. It just missed the hole. Garrett, with about five feet to win the hole here and get the match back to all square. Did I see thunder, bro? Uh, maybe. I think I just heard some thunder, guys. 
Get some match back to all square. All right, guys, that's birdie for me on hole number three, and now it's all square. I needed that. I needed that really bad. On to hole four, which is a par three. Downwind, downhill. I got six iron, Mike has got seven iron. It's about 194 yards. Mm -hmm. I think this is the right club. I'm just gonna swing normal, and hopefully I hit it good. Pretty straightforward hole here, pins in the center of the green. Garrett has honors after that birdie at the last hole. That's actually a really good number, I think. I hit that one good, guys. My tempo felt a lot better there. Serious question. Why am I hitting my long iron so much higher now? And is that a good thing? Because, like, I don't know if you guys remember at Purcell, but I was hitting him probably, like, that high. And that one went, like, really high with six iron. I got a 20-footer for birdie. Oh, my. This could go in the hole. First hole in one on camera. GM Golf History. Wow. Those are two really good shots on a really hard par three. Wow, that was calculated, that was calculated. I have a really tough putt. It's really tough to see on camera, but there's that's a ridge right here. What's up? Knoll. That's kind of up on the knoll. That knoll up. <laughs> I have your teeth. Literally, let's buy a million tees and see how much how much room we have left in Matt's car and we buy a million tees. We're gonna fill his car with tees. Video idea. Matt gets home from Utah on the 9th. We might this need to entire do this. car is just filled with golf tees. <laughs> Here for Garrett, he has about 25 feet, kind of downhill breaking to his left, I believe. Quick butt here. Wow, really, really good speed, Dude, judging that... the distance there. That one could have got away from him pretty easily. Mike has a pretty good look here. He's kind of up the hill, putting up this, as Mike would say, this little knoll up here. It's gonna be right to left, he has a good chance. Going. Ooh. God, they just have not been falling lately. Like, I'm hitting good putts. Still all square. On to a really tricky par four, dog leg left, par four. I already said that. What am I saying? On to hole five, all square. Uh, Mike has got three iron here on hole five. Actually, I have honors. Yeah, I got four iron. Okay, that was a little low on the face, but yeah, pretty pretty good shot there. I think I might have, could have hit a little more than four iron, but that was pretty solid there. I'm in the fairway. I'm in play. I'm happy about it. No, oh, that doesn't need to sit, Micah. I don't think at all. That's perfect. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, we're in a good position to hopefully make some birdies here. I have 160 yards. I either got pitching wedge or nine. I'm not really sure because it's downwind. It could go long if I hit. I don't, I don't know. That's what I'm looking at. I thought I was going to have like 100 yards in. But... This is critical. I don't know how far exactly it is from down here. I'm going to hit nine. Probably pin high. I think it was pretty good. It might even be short. I hit it a little clunky. Yeah. I think that's going to be okay. I'm a little short and right. It was a pretty good shot. I think eight would have been too much. So Mike with 130. Going to go with pitching wedge. I like that play. Hopefully he can just dial it up in there and get it close. That's looking really good. Yeah. Might go in. Casual. Still a little bit short, but I like it. <laughs> That's golly, this, he's got to be the most picky person I've ever seen. That is so good. Garrett with a long putt across this green for birdie. Unbelievable speed control once again. Wow. Well, those lag putts, if I'm going to give myself such far birdie putts, as long as I can walk away with pars, I'll be happy. Here we go, we got Micah down the hill. This is a pretty easy putt. If he reads it right, he could easily make this. That was gonna miss left anyway. I'll give him that for his par. He made it anyway. On to our sixth hole of the day. We are all square. We got four holes left to dial it in. Hole number six is a pretty short hole, probably like 360 yards. It's into the wind today, so I don't think it's quite gettable. I think I'm just gonna hit three wood anyway. Once again, this course looks pretty tight from the tee. That's what it looks like. Pin's kind of up and over there. Garrett has honor still after two pars. I tell you what, I'm a good two putter today. <laughs> Garrett with three wood. 
He is roping it now, fellas. Wow, that was that was good. I think you can hit driver. Hopefully you guys are enjoying today's video. If you guys are new here, just know that I upload three times a week golf content, sometimes four times a week if I do a two-part video, like this week, actually. This last week, there was four videos that was uploaded to this channel. So if you guys like golf content in any way, I think 47% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you guys want to subscribe, that would be very much appreciated. Let's get right back to it. Mike with the two iron here. Jeez. That's going to carry past my three wood because it had no spin and mine had lots of spin. That was launched. Okay, that's that's throwback to me and Parker at like when we call it when we're the bomb squad. Yeah. That was one of the best two I've been in a long time. That was destroyed. I just noticed one thing and this could go in the title of the video, but Micah and I have not hit driver this entire match through six holes. And I I don't think we will hit driver for the full front nine. At the back nine out here at first or yeah. We're gonna miss this place the most, so yeah. Y'all become famous. I guess you could say I miss it. I do miss Purcell Farms. It, that place just feels like home. I meant to say the back nine out here at Sycamore Ridge is a lot more old. This course is also super nice, by the way. All right, guys. Gary has 124 yards to the pin. This was a great three wood. It's going with a 52 degree pin. It's kind of in the back. It's kind of just straight on, as you can see there. He got it back there. That's uh for like two seconds I was a little bit worried that fifty two degree wasn't gonna get there because it is uphill and into the wind, but he uh he has been hitting his wedges really hard and he's also hitting them really high. I know a lot of you guys already know this, but you wanna hit your wedges lower and your long irons higher. Like you wanna penetrate the ball flight with your wedges. And today I've been doing the opposite. I don't know. It's just different for me. Micah, how far do you got? Got 106 yards. I'm going to hit a little 56 degree. And I would like to see this one in there four or five feet. Maybe just put it in the hole. Yeah, I think that one is a little short, guys. He's looking at probably 15 feet. I'm a little long, he's a little short. We do have birdie putts, though. <laughs> As Micah just said, I'm a tiny bit closer than him, just on the backside here. I have a really makeable putt. It breaks a little left to right down the hill, and it fits my eye really well. Micah's got a pretty makeable putt, too, right to left. That's in, I believe. Oh, bro, I thought for sure. Now Garrett has this to go one up. Off the green. Wow, Garrett, I'm not real sure what just happened there. I don't know if he was just feeling really confident and decided to ram it in. He's kind of like 10 feet now for par. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna make a it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got him. I just want to make it hard on myself. And Micah slips it in there. <laughs> yeah, like that was dead center. <laughs> so after hole six, we are now all square again. That was scary. I almost three putted that for sure. On to hole number seven here, which is a par five. Kind of an interesting hole. All the holes on this front nine are just like really tricky, but really cool. I enjoy this course a lot. This is kind of what it looks like. It's like up a hill, then down a hill, then back up a hill to the right. I got four iron in my hand for the tee shot. You could honestly hit like seven iron off this tee, I feel like, and then just hit three wood and then wedge. But That's a really good ball flight. Just going dead center. That felt good, guys. <laughs> I wish you guys could see this. Mike has got this monopod extended to the max. Here, I'm gonna give you guys some perspective. I'm holding the camera from the bottom currently, and that's your view. See that? See, I think you could have hit that a lot harder. How did I record that so well? Guys, I was above his head recording his swing and then I pulled the monopod down, twisted a little double 360 45 and zoomed in on his ball landing in the fairway. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that camera work. I chunked that super, super, super bad. I just don't really know what happened there. We have arrived at Micah's ball. I have 340 yards, so obviously I'm not getting there, and I'm not hitting driver. That would just be that would not be smart. I'm just gonna hit two iron. Hopefully, I can get at least a wedge in. This is what he's looking at, guys. I go with two iron here. Jeez, guys, he's just a freaking beast. 
Oh my god. Wait, did that go over the fairway? No, you're in the fairway. I, I, I think I need to get my eyes checked. Uh, you think? <laughs> By now? I think you should know that you need to get your eyes checked. He just hit that ball and completely lost it. He needs to figure that one out. I'm gonna hit three wood here. I have 321 yards. All right, guys, Garrett with three wood. This is a solid play, just trying to lay up, kind of like I did. Yep, as you can see right there, probably has less than 100 in. Here's Micah in the right side of the fairway. What he said when he was walking up to his ball was, he thought his ball was all the way up there in the rough. He says he's got 80 yards. Roback goes extremely hard once again. Code GM15 for 15% off your first purchase in the Roback store. Link will be in the description if you guys want to check them out. Micah with a 60 degree here. Just trying to dial it up in there. Look at how clean that is. I'm actually wearing golf clothes today, folks. Hey, and guys, that's a prime example of what happens when you catch it four grooves low and just goes it long. Not good. This actually could be really good. We both did it. Okay, you actually hit yours good, but that's crazy. I've been hitting my 60 degree long all day. If you're still here and you're still watching, thank you, but those are two terrible, terrible wedge shots from that distance. You can just lay it on me right now. All right, guys, so we made it to the green. Obviously, as you can tell, there's no balls on the green. Garrett's right there, and I am right here. Unbelievable. That is very ideal, folks. Something about my 60 degree today. It's been weird. And that is a really good chip. I'm gonna set the camera down right now. Yes! <laughs> Watch this. Okay. He gave it a run. One up with two to play, right? But guys, that feels good. That was pretty exciting. It's always fun to chip it in. All right, guys, that's not good. My goal is still to shoot one under, and I think I'm one over. If I can birdie the last two, I'll be happy and just kind of shut Micah out here. <laughs> Micah with eight here, down the hill. Got 177 yards. Hit it, win. Hit it, win. Hit it. Gosh. I... And give up. I struck that really well. You guys are probably gonna think it shot straight right because it actually did. I actually set up to hit like a kind of a big sweeping draw because I wanted to add a few yards and I think I calculated it pretty good. Garrett with seven iron. Oh. Get out of here. <laughs> are you Get out of here. kidding me? I thought that laid it in the hole at the first. If it, uh, yeah. I can't even find my words. I literally thought Let's that dropped in the hole. When I was looking through the viewfinder and I literally thought that it dropped in the hole for like half a second. You are ridiculous. Guys, what a finish to a crazy match. Dude, I almost made that. Your dad gum right, I almost made that. I thought I did when I hit it too because it was just like, that looks so good on the fly. I've been hitting it very high today. Look, if that's just <laughs> six inches to the right. Yeah, if I hit that six inches to the right, man, it was in the hole. I think that's a pretty fair if. All right, Micah still has a good look at birdie, so I can't get ahead of myself. No. Yes. yes. <laughs> I needed that. Let's go, baby. Guys, I literally hit that putt with, I putt with so, it was so good. Garrett now to tie the hole. A big putt. No, to win the hole, geez. Barely lips it in. That was... That was a knee knocker. It's all square going in the oh, last hole. Oh baby, let's go! That's what you guys came to see. So let's get some hype in the comments, hype in the chats. If you guys haven't hit the like button already, we just had a chip in. We just had a, we just had a birdie. Tied up going into the last hole. We could, in theory, see the first GM match playoff hole. All right, guys, on to our last hole of the match. Hole number nine. It all comes down to this. All square. This match is this match is starting to heat up. That's some excitement right there. That's some excitement. That's what we need. I just really wish I would have made that putt. Yeah, if you would have made that, that would have just. No, y'all tell Garrett in the comments right now that it's not good that I missed that putt. Like he's been he's been wishing ill putts on me all day. <laughs> I'm making birdie. This is what we're looking at. Okay. 
All right, here, this give it to me. You're buying me duck on. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I want. Oh, if this sticks, you're buying me duck on the way home. Boom. It, it don't count. It would. It's gotta be straight up like this. Like that. Now you're buying me Duncan. No. Start it over. Okay. If this sticks, you can buy me Duncan on the way home. Bradley, keep all this in. Bam. That's Duncan. Bradley, <laughs> let everybody know in this video that he just said that three times. But I'll... <laughs> you know what? I can't wait to get some Duncan on the way home. I tell you, it's going to taste so good. You're like a little kid, like, doing that to his parents <laughs> on the way home. Like, Mom, can I get some McDonald's on the way home? All right, guys. Garrett has honors on the last hole of this match. We'll see if it's going to be the last hole. But our ninth hole of this match, Garrett has honors three wood. Wow, he couldn't have any better. You guys could not see it down because of the skyline behind it, but that was money. It split the trees. Take with two iron here. I guess I gotta buy him Duncan on the way home. Just give him some Duncan energy. Oh, that's going left. It's going left. Landed in the fairway. See, Just that was terrible, guys. Might be a choke on my end. Calm down and quit saying you're not in play because you are. Walking over to Micah's ball in the left rough. He is in fine position. I'm in a really good spot. Probably 104 yards to the green up there. 120 yards to the pin right up there in the front side of the green, folks. Got a sandwich. Where'd he go? I don't know. Middle of the fairway. I got 103 to 104 yards. I got 60 degree in my hand. I'm not really sure where your ball went. I have no idea either. I think it's in the bunker. It's a little short, but nonetheless, pretty good shot. And this is Micah in the bunker right here. I'm telling you, if Micah was 35 feet left, it would have been in pretty close to the hole. All right, here we go. We got Micah getting up and down for par out of the bunker. Needs to dial it up in here. Simmer. Ooh, spin. Dad gummit. Mm. Well, he said he was going to do it, and he just made birdie. Good match. Good match. Good match. Good job. Thank you. I had really good distance control on that last shot into 18. It started with a tee shot though. I kind of hoped it got, it got myself out of position. It was a crazy match to yeah. say the least. Up and down all around. Crazy start with the double bogey and finished with two birdies to close it out. So thank you guys for watching today's match. Stay tuned for next Sunday, which is also going to be out here, I think. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for more Sunday matches. The point system is now at 12 to 6. 12 to 6. These matches are getting really competitive. So if you guys want to see us compete with each other and try and hopefully hit some decent golf shots, stay tuned for more. Once again, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, guys, peace out. Medium black coffee, two chocolate glazed donuts. I will spill that coffee right on my- I'm so glad I stuck that little ball marker in the ground. It took you three tries for the last time. I still don't know why I agreed to this. Guys, look at that. Huge shout out to you guys. We love you. I love Duncan. <laughs> Gravity for most people pulls you to the ground. Gravity for Micah pulls him to the nearest Duncan. Peace out. Peace out.